that was always one of my dreams for the last 10 or 15 years is to actually park host. Texas State Parks and see the people driving around in little ATVs and I'm like, well, these days I'm going to do that. So I have park hosted probably about 13 months out of the two years that I've been on hire. So um, I've park hosted for two different parks. I love the Texas State Parks and that was where I wanted to do a lot of my park hosting. And so my very first park host job was at Possum Kingdom State Park. Um, I'm actually currently park hosting there right now. I'm off this week for Lola Plaza. So when I leave here, I go back to Possum Kingdom. Um, I also did some park hosting in New Mexico at a Bureau of Land Management. I did um, about six weeks last year and just filling in in between park hosts. And uh, this year I did four months. I get a lot of questions about what Park Coast people do. And some of it's fun, some of it isn't. You can work in the office. You can do painting. Last year I painted two cabins at Boston Kingdom. Um, paint signs. You can do... Fences. Um, huh? You painted fences. Painted, that was in New Mexico. <laughs> painted fences. Um, but I also, at the Texas State Park, I work with staff. So, you, basically, I'm there to help them any way they need. So, I want to give back to the campers, give back to the people, give back to the land, and take care of this land. And take care of the Texas State Park. So, that's where my heart is. Um, I do have some volunteer information for the Texas State Parks here. This also can include not the glorious side of cleaning restrooms, um, cabins, like at Possum Kingdom we have seven cabins. So on Sunday, most times, all seven cabins check out. We go in, we clean them, we get them ready for the next patrons that are coming either that day or whatever. I also go around and pick up every little piece of trash. You know, if you like walking around in nature, I see deer, I see yeah, armadillo, I'm with the nature, you know, I'm with nature all the time. I see rattlesnakes, I see all kinds of snakes, spiders, and, but, and that's, that's the good part, that's the fun part, is just getting outside and being with nature. It also keeps you active. You know, a lot of times you see retirement ages that are doing the park coasting because they retire. You know, I don't want to retire and sit on the couch and do nothing. I want to be out in nature, hiking, and spending time. And that affords you that. So what do you get with park hosting? Most of the time you get an RV site, water, electric, sewer. Uh, so basically full hookups. At the Texas State Park, in this brochure, it states that you have to do 24 hours to 32 hours of service to warrant your pad and so you know you, you think you're not getting anything and you're working for free but you're not I mean you're paying my electricity I don't pay electricity I have no bills I have no water bill and no electric bill so it's very cheap um, so if anybody wants to look for a way to start full timing it's perfect because you have no bills basically and you can, you can live out in the park. The Bureau of Land Management actually had a few extra perks there. They actually provided propane, so if it's in the winter and you live in an RV, propane can get pretty expensive. So that's a great benefit. And laundry. I don't know if y'all ever do laundry, a laundry mat, how much that can add up if you include your bedding, your blankets. You know, you can spend a lot of money just in laundry per week. And so, in New Mexico, where I was, they actually paid for the laundry. Opportunities out there, and I'm going to list just a few that are not park hosting, because a lot of people say, well, I don't want to park host. Is there anything else you want to do? So, there's also, and I'm going to give at the end of this, 
uh, information about where you can find more information to the actual like websites and stuff. But a bookstore and library, you can, there's bookstores and libraries, uh, especially national parks. They want volunteers to work the weekends in, in the, uh, the gift store or the um, visitor center. There's also fee collectors, lot house people, um, that you can stay at a lot house. There's also a tour guides and bird guides, um, interpreters, different opportunities. You don't just have to work in a park and clean restrooms. So, you know, that, that's kind of the bad part. People say, I don't want to be a park host because I'm going to be you know, just cleaning up after people, but that's not always the case. So there's always an opportunity for each one of y'all. There's maintenance, if you, if you like to work in the maintenance shops and things like that. There's jobs out there for that. Are the hours mostly flexible? Yeah, you can work, you can ask them. Um, like at Possum Kingdom, I work, I go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I work um, 4 to 5 hours a day five days a week and it can be flexible it's like oh it's nice on the lake I'm gonna go fishing <laughs> and so I do you know at 10 o'clock in the morning I go fishing well I'll pick up my hours as long as I work that 32 hours and not maybe not every park if you're working in the office and they want you at the window you know or like last week I need you at 1:30 because I have a conference call I need somebody come up here to work the window okay so I got extra hours so I can take off extra hours. So it is flexible. So um, the job in New Mexico was very flexible. It depended on um, events that we were having. We had an equestrian event that had over 150 people there for about two weeks. And so that required me to be available more often for extended period of hours during that two weeks. But then there were some days that I went and cleaned the bathroom for an hour and I was done. So, and some, like that one, I had to weed, eat, and mow. For at Possum Kingdom, I don't have to. I can if I would like. But So it just kind of, you definitely need to read the job description and be able to know that you can do those jobs. Some volunteer jobs that we've seen um, some of them do in Florida State Park, they don't even see the drawing it too public. They park in the back and they do um, tree maintenance and yeah. that kind of Yeah, thing. there's trail maintenance. Like it, when I have a time sheet that I fill out, it's like pick up litter, clean cat in the bathroom, trail maintenance, fire ring clean out. Yeah, somebody has to clean out those fire rings. <laughs> you know, so yeah. there's, there's a lot to it to maintain a park. I think that's all I have. I put, I did a little write up on my website that goes kind of in more detail. If you go to frugalrvgal.com, you will see a list of resources that include not only volunteer, but also work camping jobs. Work camping is different than park hosting in the sense that you work, you work a job. They hire you to do so many hours a week, just like an employee, and they provide a pad and plus a paycheck. Um, now, the, the job that I did do in New Mexico, I was paid for incidentals. So I was paid $22 a day, but it was a volunteer job, strictly volunteer. But the Texas State Park is strictly volunteer. You don't get a stipend or, or a, any, any kind of anything in your bank account. <laughs> so, so you don't have to declare taxes on any no. good. Yeah. No, they give me a form that I have to... Out. Fill out and I have to provide it. Or I guess they provide it to the IRS and I do too. But it's, it's not income. Yeah. It's income in kind. We've asked Corps of Engineer um, Park Host um, that we've been here in Texas because we've made our way around a few. And mostly the Corps of Engineers, they get water and electric in their site in exchange for like 20 hours, but they yeah. don't get sewer. Ooh. Oh, because I don't have. Yeah, not all of them have to. Right. Some do. Some places well, and do. That's, some don't. I'm gonna, if you go to my website, I provide links to volunteer.gov. That's the big one. That's national parks. That is uh, fishing, wildlife. That is BLM parks. 
So you can look at that. That's where we found the, the Jimmy Carter National Monument. Um, if you go there, you can type it. You can look by state or you can look by category. You can type in books. All the stores will come up that, you know, that need um, visitor center work. So, but just read the description on the, the job description if you find one you like because it will list RV pad or, and I've seen RV pad without water and electric. And then, oh, so wow. you're boondocking. Oh, a yeah. lot of craggy, craggy wash in Arizona is that way. Yeah, they need a park in Arizona. Yeah. yeah, they need a park hose, but they don't provide any amenities other than the site. No water, no electric, no uh, dump. So that's kind of a different. Yeah. Well, I found in Corps of Engineers, they're man it's Corps of Engineers, which is government, but then each little category, each little area is governed by a, an office, and this one will be really well taken care of, and you go over here, and they're not as well maintained. It's a different management. Well, and you have different offices, like where I worked. I worked for the Roswell BLM office, but, you know, if you go to Arizona, it's going to be an Yuma BLM office. So, I mean, you, it's federal. But they're all, you know, under different. different. Yeah. yeah. So, and then you're going to have different bosses. Mm -hmm. you know, they're going to require you to do this where you go somewhere else. And they're like, oh, you don't have to do that. Just do this. Are people allowed to bang on your door at all hours of night? That, yep. Yeah, I get complaints that. of people banging on the door at 10 o'clock at night saying they're burning a fire or they're being loud. Because right now, Possum Kingdom's under. So, what do you have to do? What do you do? You got to go down there and talk to them? No. I'm not. Well, law it's, it's different. Yeah, we have law enforcement, okay. but it's different at, like I said, here in Texas State Parks, we have staff. Okay. When I was in New Mexico, and I keep part, pointing to Dee because she was there. <laughs> she was a camper there. I told her, come to Lola Blusa. And so, um, I was the only staff. We did not have staff. Now I have the available phone number to the law enforcement. If you needed a game system. warden, yes. Yeah. But he he was quite a far ways away. But right. you know, yeah. I had an incident of somebody complaining of another camper. You know, and so I had to play mediator a little bit. I had to go kind of. Can we talk? Can we talk? Okay, can we talk together? Can we work something out? Do you want to move? Do you want to stay here? You know, and there was horses involved, so, you know, you get their babies involved, too, because it was a equestrian park that I worked at. Oh, wow. So, but, um, so you have to be a good psychologist. Well, <laughs> BS or maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like that. Yeah. People skills. Yeah. It's like you listen to them and you listen to them. It's like, can we talk? I mean, we're all, you know, Adult, adults. Uh, theoretically. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I would think loud music would be a number one thing. Yeah. Loud music. Yeah. yeah. Generators. Yeah, you don't get that as much. Uh, well, I'll say that in the Texas State Park, you okay. do, but okay. So. But anyway, if y'all want more information, you can go to my website for those links. I also included people if you're interested in working for Amazon, you can do that. That's not camp posting, but I kind of did a full write up of living in your RV and working on the road or park posting on the road, so you can get those links there. So. Did you work on Amazon? No, I did not. I wanted to. Uh -huh. And when I learned that they walk about 15 miles a day, I decided I was walking. Yeah. That was one of my first things I wanted to do, too, when I retired. And I was like, I don't think I can do that. So. I want to retire and work harder than I was working before yeah. I retired. Exactly. Do y'all have any questions? Any? Great job. Thank you. Time of year. Denali out. It's. I stumped the host. Yeah. I'm. I'm of the. I guess I like. I like change, but I also like to know where I'm going. Going. So for two years, I've only gone to two parks. I could go anywhere, 
But I love the staff at Possum Kingdom. We get along great and we have a great time while we work. And so I like going back there. We made friends and I love going back there. I don't have like a national park. I don't have any desire to really be a park host or work at a national park. That doesn't mean that, that doesn't change. But, you know, I've done, I think, you know, I may travel some and then revisit the park host in the later. But, I've done it nine months straight this year. Well, I'm ready for a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to travel. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona. Yep. Arizona. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh no. Thank you very much.